Hi friends, now today we are going to talk about background job analysis like based on the now you might say okay I can check the background job status from SM37 and all those things. This is something different which basically the basis team uses but you can also use provided you write the security and have some you know uh, get this access. So the transaction code is SP13 okay and here I'll just select background job analysis and I'll execute so here if you notice here I can select the minimum duration of the job and all those things so if I see if I want to run probably I'll just run it for one, zero, 01 and I'll run it like this anything that is more than five minutes or minimum duration is 10 minutes okay so let me see like this within short without shorter jobs and all these things active we will we'll just see finished um, and here you can select workplace is only used and all those things so if I run this okay period is more than 24 hours I cannot run this so that's a problem so it will say it cannot run more than 24 hours so I'll just change it to 21 okay and now I'll just execute and here this period is more than 24 hours again it shows so probably i have to select all probably if i do all nope period is more than 24 hours okay why it's period okay let me put then 22 okay my math is going wrong so here i'll execute and here you can see all so you can see all the all the bad jobs that is running for for in this in this uh, in the all scenario now let me do one thing I'll just create a session and I'll just select st13 and here I'll select again this background job analysis execute and I'll see 10 minutes okay this is good and I'll just change this time and I'll execute and here you will see that these are the so here we can see the job list there is nothing <coughs> which is good now on this side you can see all that is there so now if I ran it for like suppose five minutes okay minimum duration is five minutes and I execute I cannot find anything which is good okay so so five minutes <coughs> so here all the jobs are running very and the duration is much less which is good but sometimes suppose you have a program that runs forever you can see and you can analyze this job so suppose I if I double click on it it will take me to SM37 it can take me to stat okay so if I go to stat I don't know what is that oh it, it tells about the get the list of active servers that is running from the application server so it's pretty handy okay and uh, it's, it's taking some time okay and in the meantime what I can do probably here I'll just change this to 19 and I'll execute all and so that you know I can see the other flavors and here you can see all show all the work processes used work processes and you can list it to as in ms excel and download it and this is really helpful in a job in a program every every sap system that is running will have some jobs and some jobs will be running for some time and then you can analyze oh these jobs need some performance has some performance issue or probably doesn't have performance issue but it has a lot of load so you can distribute parallelly to different app server for to make it work faster so that this is really helpful Okay, so so the transaction code that we use is ST13. I'll just go back again and tell you ST13, and you go to background job analyzer. That's it. So that's it. Uh, stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.